Hey, what's up today, everybody? And uh, welcome to the channel. It's Robin here. Thanks for joining me. So this is Aries Fire Tarot, and today I am going to do the Love Horoscope, and I'm using different decks this time. I have the Romance Angel Oracle Card deck, and they match my sweater, which is amazing. And then I have the Power of Love deck, which is my latest deck. I, I just got this shipped in. So I'm going to alternate signs between the decks. I'm going to start with Aquarius and I'm going to use the power of love and then flip back and forth as I go through the signs. So let me know what you think of the decks, you guys. Let me know what you think of the card that I pulled for your sign. Just let me know how you're doing. And um, yeah, thanks again for joining. Remember to like and share the video. And you're not, if you're not a subscriber already, please take a second to do that too. It really helps me on the channel. And uh, yeah. Anyway, love you guys, and I hope you love the video, so let's dive right into Aquarius. Let me just, I'm holding the card here. I just want to mark the time down so you guys can see. So this says virtue. These really, like, have this hippie style that I love. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So virtue can be, you know... People think of being virtuous as they kind of relate that to being virginal and that's not really the same thing. So this says, you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourages others to grow. So that is such a nurturing and beautiful vibe going into the next week for your love horoscope. Like whether you're single or in a relationship, there's something that is so attractive and beautiful about a person that is, you know, operating from their heart space. So I'm seeing this as being a really sort of uplifting message for you and looking at yourself that you are really deeply capable of loving and you don't have anything to hide. And the more that you let your love show, the more that you'll attract that back in all of your relationships. So. I think this is a really great card for you guys coming up for the week ahead. Just really beautiful and the colors speak of, you know, being super happy and, and just having a great week ahead. So I hope you enjoyed the card, you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you back next time. What's up, Pisces? So I'm using um, the Romance Angel Oracle card deck for your love horoscope. And the card I pulled for you is Love Yourself First. So here's what the card looks like. And let me just read the guidance here. This says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know, <clears throat> I see many people do this and it, it's men and women, you know, where we could reduce yourself to fit into somebody else's box. You know, you make yourself appear like you're less than. And that's, that's not an attractive quality, you know? It really isn't. And it, you will start to feel uncomfortable after a while. And if you are constantly putting other people first, then they will continue to expect that. So really, you have to put yourself first. You have to take care of yourself first. You know that old saying that you, you can't pour from an empty cup? It's really true. You need to really just put your needs first almost all of the time you know because nobody loves you more than you do really always just put yourself first you guys i love this card um your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so remember that the next time that you feel that you want to make yourself smaller to make somebody fall in love with you or make somebody like you better so guys i hope you enjoyed the card I'm just about to move on to Aries, so I'll see you back next time. Aries, how's it going? I have your um, card here. This is the, the Power of Love deck, and this is your Love Heros Heroscope. Hello. Um, so the card I pulled for you is Harmony, and this is just a beautiful card here, and I really like the colors, um, the way they're swishing around in the card here. So you're able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Well, that's nice, isn't it, Aries? You know, I'm, I'm really seeing that Aries are coming into a personal strength these days and feeling more harmonious 
at heart, like in your own heart and feeling more comfortable with who you are. So that's easier to draw people to you. Like definitely if you're single and if you're feeling more at ease and calm and not so Aries, you know what I'm saying? Um, you'd be able to draw that ideal partner that might not have resonated with you completely before. So I think this is a really nice card for singles. And for couples, I mean, if you're in harmony with the person that you're spending your life with, what else could you ask for? It's no fun when you're having arguments with people, especially the person that you might likely share a home with. So great card for you, Aries. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I'm just about to move on to Taurus. So I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye. Hey, what's up, Taurus? I've got your love horoscope card, and I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle card deck for you guys, and the card I've pulled is Heart to Heart Conversations. So, great card for singles and couples. You know, nothing is more important than discussing life and your feelings and your opinions with the people that you're close to, and the card says, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And I think this is, you know, really, really important message because sometimes people might, um, you know, not speak their mind because they don't want to turn people off or they just kind of want to go with the flow and like really not upset other people or just have been intimidated in a previous relationship to, you know, just keep it to yourself. And that's, that's really not cool. Uh, it's, this is really an invitation to sit down and have open, Heart to, heart, heart to heart conversations with people because that's all you have really is the people that you love and the amount of trust that you can have in them. So I think this is a really cool card for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments and I'm just about to move on to Gemini. So I'll see you guys back next time. Bye for now. Bye. Welcome Gemini. So the deck I'm using for you guys for your love horoscope is the power of love and the card I pulled is evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So you know how in long-term relationships, you really need to grow together. And that's the evolution of your relationship. You know how they say sometimes that couples grow apart because they've grown in different directions. That's something that really needs to be paid attention to in relationships is that you guys are talking about going on to the same path and having the same objectives. I really like this card for you guys. And for singles, you know, it's important to learn lessons from your last breakup. If you keep on breaking up with people for the same reason, or you think that you seem to end up with the same person in each relationship, it's an opportunity for you to learn lessons from that and evolve yourself so you can meet somebody that is more suited to your needs. So I hope this is a great card for you guys. I'm just about to move on to Cancer, so I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now, bye. Hey Cancer, so I'm using the, uh, I to totally drew a blank, Romance Angels Oracle, Oracle card deck, and the card I've pulled for you is to make the effort. Very, very important for singles. I was just watching a video today that said, you know, if you're trying to meet somebody, you're going to have to get up and get out of the house. It does take more than dating apps, um, Facebook dating or whatever it is. You really need to get outside, go for coffee, go hang out somewhere. And this says great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. And that can apply to, you know, couples and singles. You know, love takes a little bit of work, making the effort, you know, meeting somebody halfway. If you're single, meeting somebody at all, you know, you really have to make yourself available and vulnerable to either your partner or to the person that you're destined to meet. So guys, I hope this was a great card for you. Remember that, you know, it's the little things that matter in your relationship, you know, bringing somebody a cup of coffee or, you bringing home flowers or picking up dinner, you know, really just make the effort, you guys. It pays off so, so much for you. So let me know what you think of the card down below and I'll see you back next time. Bye for now. 
Hey Leo, so I've got your love horoscope card here and I'm using the, the deck called The Power of Love and the card that I've got for you is Expression. So I think that's really nice and I think this is a really, um, really just beautiful card all the way around. So it says, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So one thing I've noticed about Leos is tending to have these great big hearts, but might not always have the ability to express what's in your heart. So no matter what your relationship status is, really start getting comfortable with just sitting down and saying, you know, this is how I feel about you, and this is how I feel about the situation, and this is how I see our relationship growing and what we can do as a couple. Or if you're single, just going up and saying to somebody, and you don't have to be creepy or over the top to go invite somebody out for, her. and I use the expression coffee a lot because it's like, it's just so simple. You know, hey, do you wanna go out with me for coffee sometime? Or, you know, take somebody a coffee that you've noticed somewhere and like write your phone number down on it and just go express yourself. It's like such an easy thing to do. Well, easier for some than others with the biggest payoff and this does say you're ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love i mean what does that say to you you're in this huge manifesting stage right now leo so take advantage of it and make it work for your love life also so i hope you enjoyed this card you guys i'll see you back next time okay take care What's up, Virgo? So I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle card deck for your tarot, uh, for your horoscope. And this says, ooh, engagement. Ooh, that's exciting. So here, have a look at the card. It's really cute. And the advice on it is, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And I remember reading the guidance in the handbook about this. And it's saying that you know, even if you're single, the romance angels have seen your call for a great love, you know, to be married. So you don't necessarily have to be in a relationship right now to understand that the romance angels are working behind the scenes to bring somebody that is a potential marriage candidate for you. And for those of you in relationships, you know, Maybe you're just gonna take your love to the next level. Maybe actually setting the date for a wedding or having a second honeymoon or renewing your vows. So I think this is a really beautiful card for you guys. And just, um, you know, it's just saying how close you are and, and ready to be, not ready to be committed, but you know, commit to that person in your life, that special someone. So I hope you enjoyed the card, you guys. I'll see you back next time. What's up, Libra? So I'm using the Power of Love card, uh, the Power of Love deck for you, and the card I pulled for you is Spontaneity. So I'll have you have a little look at the card here. I just love the colors on this deck. So this says, you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. I think that can be really fun, and that's how for singles, you know, you could really bump into somebody if you're looking for a relationship is just to be spontaneous and you know head out of the house and possibly go meet somebody run into somebody really interesting and for couples it can be really easy to settle into a routine you know and sometimes sometimes that's really nice but sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive and boring so you know what go walk in the park you know go have ice cream somewhere just maybe pop into a movie or go see some friends or something. Just do something spur of the moment instead of like sitting down on the couch for the third or fourth or fifth night in a row and watching Netflix. So, you know, play some cards, do something really fun and interesting. I think this is a great card for singles and couples, um, you know, to, to bring a little bit of a punch back into your life and spice things up, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the card. I'm just about to move on to Scorpio. So I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye. Hi, Scorpio. So I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle card deck for the love horoscope for you guys. And the card I've got is getting to know each other. And on the card it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. 
So honestly, it really, to me, doesn't matter how long you've known somebody. It's like you're always, 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 always learning something more about that person. Um, for singles, I think it's really important to get to know somebody a little bit deeper before making any sort of commitment to them. I see people like declaring love and moving in with each other in really short term periods and then wondering why it didn't work out. I mean, you do have to take the time to get to know somebody. And then for those of you in relationships, um, like my grandparents, they were married for almost 60 years. And it's like they never got tired of learning something new about each other. They did everything together, you know, and they were really close and they never ran out of things to talk about. So just keeping up that, you know, revealing parts of yourself as life goes on and sharing everything. I think this is a beautiful card for you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I'm just about to move on to Sag. So I'll see you guys back next time. Bye for now. Bye. What's up, Sag? So the deck I'm using for you guys for your love horoscope is the Power of Love deck. And the card I've got for you is Self Love. So singles or people in relationships, you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Very important message. You know, you can only attract the type of person that will meet you on the same level that you love yourself. So if you find yourself as a single attracting sort of, a, I kind of want to use the word shallow, you know, but do you know what I mean? The person that just isn't really in touch with their own feelings, you need to be that person first. You know, whatever measure of love that you would like to attract into your life, you need to be able to give that to yourself first because how are you gonna love somebody else if you don't love yourself? And for couples, really, you do need to put yourself first in the relationship. It doesn't mean that you don't come like any less than equal to the relationship, but you still have to put yourself first, honey. So I think this is a great card for you guys. Um, just let me know what you think of the card and the deck in because this is a new deck for me in the comments and I'll see you back next time. Okay, bye for now. What's up Capricorn? So I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle card deck for you guys for your love horoscope and this says wedding. Wow, pretty cool. So singles or people in relationships, this situation involves marriage. So you could be meeting somebody that you're going to become married to in the future or if you are currently married, you guys could be renewing your vows or doing something like going to somebody's wedding. I think this is a really interesting card for you guys. It's pretty um, short and sweet. And this couple, they, I mean, they look le less than impressed in the card, but this just looks like a situation, relationship that's overflowing with love and happiness. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet love horoscope card for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're getting married soon. Take care, you guys. I'll see you back next time. Bye for now.